here, here. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to look at them. We got it up. Would you mind talking me through that terrible incident where you, you fell overboard? Yeah, as um, you know, I've said to a few people, the, the boats turn incredibly fast to maintain foiling tacks and uh, at some point during the tack you've got to straighten it up because you're at you know, the correct angle. Unfortunately in that manoeuvre um, we straightened the boat up as my feet were mid-air and so the boat now starts going a different direction to what I was on it and uh, ended up landing somewhere near the back corner and sliding right off the back of the boat and one of those moments that um, you, know, you never want to have happen in a race. And uh, when you were in the water, did, how long was it before anybody realised you were there and where you were? It did actually take a bit of time. Um, I think the umpire boat was following us sort of around that tack and um, I sort of just gave him a, a bit of a thumbs up and then obviously there was a bit of a port starboard incident happening so they went up to, to look into that and then when they came back down, by the time they sort of come past me, uh, you know, our chase boat had sort of come alongside to pick me up. But um, yeah, the biggest thing I was worried about was Team New Zealand who went around the left mark and were aiming straight for me and at one point I thought I was going to end up going under their platform but you know, happy that you know, they spotted me and, uh, and jived before they got to me. Yeah, because it was a while before they realised what had happened to you. Yeah, well, you know, it's, it's pretty hard. You know, the, the team's chase boats have to stay out of the race because they don't want to impact the racing at all and uh, you know, if they're not close enough to see you know, someone falling overboard um, you know, it is you know, a bit of a safety issue and uh, you know, I, I don't know if anyone made a, a radio call across the thing saying there was a man overboard but uh, you know, my radio disconnects as soon as I'm outside 100 metres from the boat so I was, couldn't contact anyone. Right, so is this the first time you've gone overboard or it happened to you before? Uh, it's happened several times. Um, you know, I've been overboard once, most of the sailing team on our boat have, have gone over in, in similar moments and no, no one's ever been injured from it. Uh, it often happens in attack, very rarely does it happen anywhere else and uh, you know we maybe just have to tread a little slower across the boat next time.